A desperate effort to save lives in a makeshift clinic in the Yanomani territory. The numbers are staggering. 570 children have died during the past four years, victims of the onslaught of illegal mining in Brazil's largest indigenous reservation. While doctors and nurses attend to the sick, the recently created task force is forcing thousands of miners out. Hundreds are leaving in canoes, taking all they can and filming their flight. By January, 20,000 illegal miners were occupying 5,000 hectares of protected indigenous land, polluting the waters with mercury and spreading disease. There are almost as many as the whole Yanomami population of 30,000. Our villages were surrounded by mines, says Hossi Yanomami. We were left with no drinking water, no food, no medicine. She's staying at the emergency health clinic built two weeks ago in Boa Vista, the capital of the northern state of Horaima. Like many here, she wants to go home, but does not know when. It'll take us decades to help nature and our homeland to recover and will only be safe from invaders if the government authorities maintain their presence in our reservation. Some miners who have fled still hope to make it back into the Yanomami territory. They have nowhere else to go. The government doesn't have the money to maintain a task force operating 24-7 in the region. If it doesn't open legal mines or find an alternative way for miners to make a living, they will go back, risking their lives, because they need to put food on the table. But Horaima has little to offer. The huge statue of a miner in the center of Boa Vista is symbol of how much the local economy depended on gold before its extraction was forbidden in protected territories. This small village is 40 kilometers away from the gateway to the Yanomani indigenous territory. It has grown much over the years, partly because of the thousands of illegal miners that have been coming here to buy food, supplies, medicine, and have made the economy of this city boom. Since President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva took office in January and ordered the task force to destroy the illegal mines, People in Heislandia have seen the city's commerce slowly fade away. This area was filled to the top with corn. Now we are no longer renewing the stock because there's nobody to buy it. For those living in Horaima, in the city or in the rainforest, tomorrow is another battle. Monica Yanakiev, Al Jazeera, Boa Vista, Brazil.